Hey everyone, I'm Jared with ToneAndTitan.com. Today I wanted to shoot a quick video and uh, show you some of my top favorite exercises to be done with a suspension gym system. You may have seen these in the gym or elsewhere. They're, they're definitely uh, becoming increasingly popular. Um, I love the, the suspension gym system for, for a couple reasons. Um, a, it's inexpensive. Uh, you can find them anywhere from about $40 to about $200 for the higher end ones with DVDs and workout pl or, uh, menu plans, things like that. This one is called a RIP60. It's made by Freemotion. Um, and it's probably my favorite. This one adds an element of, of some rotation that, that other gyms or other suspension gyms don't have um, that I've found. Um, the second thing that I love about it is is it's incredibly you know, small. You know, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Um, and the third is that it's incredibly versatile. There's there's tons of exercises that you can do with these, and I just wanted to show you a few of my favorites. Um, I've got mine anchored downstairs. I just put it right on my uh, pull-up bar. Another video that I did, I showed you how I installed that pull-up bar. Um, you can check it out on the link um, here on the video right now. But to get started, um, we'll do some squats first. Okay, so you're going to get your uh, suspension gym. You're going to come right here into this position. Really easy. You're going to go down and you're going to come back up. And that's what a squat looks like. I love the squats on this just because it's such a super easy and, and safe position for your knees to be in, especially. Um, a lot of times if your knees get too far out in front of your toes, it puts a lot of pressure on your knee joint. This is a way that you can uh, minimize that. Um, for a lot of people, the two-leg squat is, is pretty simple with this. What I like to do is I'll do the one-legged or the pistol squats as you come down and up looks just like that. All of a sudden you're doing reps just on one foot instead of using both um, to lift your body weight up. The second exercise that I wanted to show is going to be a lunge on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this handle out of the way and then we'll drop this down lower. And then in this position what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of my feet right into that loop right there. Take a couple of small hops forward, and then this is what the lunge looks like. Try not to lose your balance. This is what the lunge looks like, down and up, just like that. This one I love because there's no impact on your knee. Because your back leg is suspended, it's free to move in a very natural pattern. And so that's what the lunge looks like. That's, my, uh, that's, a, that's another one of my favorites. Um, next, we'll get into some upper body stuff. The first thing I wanted to show you with that is a row. I'll put this handle back down. <clears throat> Rows, you're going to come right back here. Starting position looks just like this. And then you're going to pull up into the row, pull those handles right into your chest. Another thing that I love about the suspension gym system is that you can vary the amount of resistance depending on how much or what percentage of your body weight you're lifting. So if I wanted to, I could get way down here, all of a sudden that row becomes a lot more difficult. Now earlier I mentioned that I really like the RIP60 because it um, includes a rotational component to it. What I'm going to do now is pull this pin out of here and that actually is now free to move. So another thing that I like to do on this one would be a rotational row. So you can see that I can do a one arm rotation row just like that. This is great. This is a great way to kick on your core while you're doing your rows. You're working to stabilize and rotate while you're working on those one arm rows just like that. Okay, we'll get that locked back in. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you with this um, is for the shoulders. We call this a rear deltoid fly. So you're going to come into this position right here, try to keep your elbows relatively straight, and then you're going to pull yourself upright, just like that. That really works the rear part of the shoulders. The more you squeeze your shoulder blades together, the, work, the more it works those back muscles as well. Just like that is a rear deltoid fly. Um, I'm going to drop it down. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it right there. Um, the, next two, the next two I wanted to demonstrate are for the arms. And so we're going to do some biceps curls on this. We're going to come into the same relative position as the rows. But now what you're going to do is keep your elbows right in place and work on the biceps just like that. Leaving it right here, I can come around here to the other side so I have a little bit more room. 
and I'm gonna do some tricep extensions just like this an overhead triceps press just like that and again with these two exercises another thing that I like to do with this is I'll unlock that pin again and all of a sudden now we can do some single arm stuff so there's a single arm bicep curl come back in here and again we can do a single arm tricep extension on here to really isolate and work those out we'll put the pin back in most of these uh, suspension systems are pretty easy to adjust this one's just got a small button on here that you push and then it slides right down the ribbon so you can um, adjust it super easy what we're going to do now are some pec flies chest flies you're going to come into this position and again kind of using that principle the lower i go to the ground the more difficult this becomes and so here i'm going to start in this position come way out wide get a really good stretch through the chest and then return to the starting position this is a great way to work the chest of course another great way to work the chest i'm going to drop this down a little bit lower <clears throat> would be to come down here and do even like a push-up or a press and so starting from this position come down into the push-up and then up for those of you who follow my website regularly i'm a huge fan of push-ups i really like them this certainly takes it to a whole new level it adds or it takes away that that element of stability so your muscles have to work even harder to stabilize what's going on um, the last exercises that i wanted to demonstrate on this um, are going to be for the for the core we've kind of done lower body upper body the last things that we'll work on are your core and so to do that we'll drop these down here into this position <clears throat> and this is a uh, very similar if you've ever seen like an ab wheel or an ab roller what you're going to do is from a kneeling position i've got those handles pretty close to the ground but not touching the ground you're going to extend all the way out and then come all the way back so it looks just like that another one of my favorite core exercises to do with this um, i'm going to rotate these handles out of the way and we're going to finish with two more exercises <coughs> that are uh, you move your feet primarily so we've got those properly adjusted what we're going to do now is in this position i'm going to put one foot in each of those straps for each of those loops and uh some of my favorite core exercises you can actually do um, with these suspension systems. One that I love is going to be just some uh, leg curls up this way. Killer way to really get those abs going. And then the last thing that I wanted to demonstrate. I also love the... Uh, the planks and the side planks I, I recommend to patients all the time is a great way to get the core going what you can do with this you can actually stagger those handles a little bit put that foot in that one and that foot in that one and then in this position we can actually come up into these side planks and again because my feet are free to swing all of a sudden your core and your arm your shoulder have to work a lot harder to just hold you up and to stabilize you and so there you go there's about 10 of my favorite exercises that you can do with the suspension gym system hope you found this informative hope you liked this video if you did do me a favor hit that little like button um, hope you'll join us next time Thanks.